our interfaces will change radically. They're going to become more human, more natural. Uh, to echo uh, Andrew's comments earlier about the voice platform, uh, this is key. Because what's going to start to happen is that technology will start to disappear into the background. We're not going to pay attention to it. And we will use AI, but it won't be visible. So there's this company called Affectiva, spun out of MIT. And what they did was, is they studied hundreds of hours of people being really angry. So now, within 1.2 seconds, they can identify someone's anger. Now this is going to change call centers. I mean, can you imagine you're really annoyed and you pick up the phone to you know, yell at you know, your favorite company, your cable company, right? You won't even be through your first expletive before they transfer you to a, someone trained with psychology to handle difficult customers like you. <laughs> this will change retail, physical retail, because I call this whisper tech. Essentially, sales assistants will have little earbuds which is connected to the cloud, which, you know, there'll be cameras that can recognize the customer. They know exactly what they've bought before. They know their preferences. And they'll be whispering in the ear of the service representative, telling them exactly what to say. So you can take someone who's worked for you for just a week and augment them with superpowers equivalent to someone who's been working with you for 10 years in terms of intuition and knowing what to say. Facial recognition is another aspect of, of an example of which our bodies are becoming interfaces. So this isn't just about the gimmick of unlocking your phone, which I don't know about you, it never works for me, especially in the morning. Until I've had three cups of coffee, a Apple basically says, don't even try to use me. But this is gonna be, this is gonna to start to transform the way we authenticate ourselves on networks. If you were running in the Shanghai Half Marathon last year, uh, you could have uploaded a, a selfie of yourself to the platform. And that would automatically then curate an album of hundreds of photos of you running in the race, taken by amateur photographers. So they're just using facial recognition essentially to create algorithmically products for consumers.